Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. With the end of Ruth and a very beautiful end, it is. Ruth chapter 4. I'm going to skip down to verse 13 where the marriage happens because that's kind of the big point here and it's kind of the highlight that I've been teasing at all this time if you didn't know what it was. So Boaz took Ruth and she became his wife. And when he went into her, the Lord gave her conception and she bore a son. Then the women said to Naomi, Blessed be the Lord who has not left you this day without a close relative. And may his name be famous in Israel. And may he be to you a restorer of life and a nourisher of your old age. For your daughter-in-law who loves you, who is better to you than seven sons, has borne him. Then Naomi took the child and laid him on her bosom and became a nurse to him. Also the neighbor women gave him a name saying, this, There is a son born to Naomi. And they called his name Obed. He is the father of Jesse, the father of David. We're talking about King David, the most famous king in all of Israel's history. Ruth got to be a part of that because she, kind of reminds me of Abraham, she left her people. She went into a country that was not her own. She served a God that she wasn't raised up with. And he blessed her. And once again, Ruth's virtue is spoken of by the people. It's said of her, um, who love, it basically says, your daughter-in-law who loves you, who is better to you than seven sons. So Ruth had an incredible, amazing reputation. And everyone blessed her for it. She showed them that essentially even someone who wasn't born to Israel they can love and serve God too and be used by him. She And so we have someone who is a part of a people, Moab, which was a result of incest, also now a part of the bloodline ultimately of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. One more example of God can use anybody who is willing to love him and serve him. So... I love that story. It's really awesome. Ruth had a great reputation, she, and she was greatly used of the Lord and greatly beloved of the Lord to be in the bloodline of Jesus Christ, God in the flesh himself. So, wonderful story, happy ending. It's a nice little aside because sometimes the Bible covers topics that aren't too keen and aren't too nice. So this was just a really nice heartwarming story in the middle of all that. We're going to get back to the normal Bible stuff of blood and guts and prophecy and judgment pretty soon coming up here. Not to mention sin and corruption and immorality, all that good stuff that would make for just the most wonderful of movies and dramas nowadays. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode. Look forward to the remaining stuff that's coming up. It's going to be brutal, at least a lot of it is. I love you, and God bless.